blender is one of the most versatile do-it-all tools you can have in your kitchen. The right blender model can do everything from pulverizing your morning smoothie and pureeing a silky smooth soup to creating homemade nut milk and refreshingly slushy frozen margaritas. A powerful blender is an essential countertop appliance right up there with a stand mixer and espresso machine as must-haves for almost any kitchen. Whether you want to get in some greens on the go or are looking for a smart kitchen appliance to help you with meal prep, our list includes the best blenders for every home cook. What do we look for in the best blender? Firstly, capacity. One of the biggest considerations when shopping for a blender is how much stuff it can hold. If you plan to blend big batches of soup and multi-serving smoothies, there are jar options at two quarts or even larger, though these tend to be more expensive and often have trouble with small amounts. So, see, or personal blenders have small cups designed for one or just a few servings, but offer uh, uh, less power than full-size models. Immersion blenders can blend in any vessel you like and theoretically have no maximum capacity, but the style also can't accommodate as high wattage a motor as a countertop blender. Second power blender is only as good as its motor. Higher wattage machines can tear through tough ingredients faster and more effectively, but they're generally pricier, heavier and louder blades, pitchers and blending programs uh, can also make a difference. Although uh, no design features can make up for a an underpowered machine uh, they're for satiety. The simplest blenders don't have much more than an on-off switch, and that's often all you need, especially with a personal blender, but it can get much more complex. Multiple speed settings let you mix slowly, puree quickly, or move between as the texture changes, and many blenders also have preset programs of speeds and pulses designed for specific items. And for a further splurge, some models combine the functions of a blender and food processor with uh, swappable blades and containers for everything from kneading dough to making a smoothie. For a straightforward and effective blender that's great for making smoothies, you can't go wrong with Vitamix's E310 Explorian model. We called it the best Vitamix for beginners in our comprehensive tests of the best Vitamix blenders. It has huge power and all the basic features you need to make smoothies, shakes, soups, and more without the enormous price of larger and more complicated Vitamix models. You get 10 speed options plus a pulse setting that lets you chop nuts or mince herbs with finesse, and that's all you have to worry about. In our tests, we loved how compact the blender is with a short profile and no accessories to keep track of, which makes it easy to store in a cabinet. That's partially because of its smaller pitcher, though. 48 ounces provides enough capacity to blend three smoothie servings. The Ace 310 is a bit more expensive than average for blenders, though it's Vitamix's cheapest option. After rigorous testing, we named the Nutribullet Pro 900 the best personal blender, uh, period. Uh, this little guy was able to pulverize ice, blueberries, and kale into a silken smoothie with very few fibrous bits. Uh, it's also incredibly easy to use as you simply push and twist the cup to activate the motor. Uh, the kit includes two separate cups, each with a lip ring, handled lip ring, and a sippy lid so you can enjoy your smoothies however you like. You can, of course, also use the machine for velvety soups, sauces, and salsas, though you may need to blend in more than one batch to fit everything. Nutribuleti makes several excellent personal blenders, but we think the Pro 900 offers the best balance of power and price. Uh, our main issue with the model is that both of its included cups are quite large for a portable blender. That's great when you're using it as a general purpose blender. Uh, but they're not so great for taking drinks to go. The 32 ounce vessels might not fit in a car cup holder, though you can buy smaller ones along with lots of other new triple accessories.
Earning the top spot in our roundup of the best immersion blenders, Breville's control grip wowed us during testing. It combines impressive power and versatility, flawlessly pureeing soup and emulsifying mayo in record time. Uh, we were particularly impressed with its smoothie performance. This machine crushed ice in 40 seconds and blended even chia seeds smooth in just two minutes. With an impressive 15-speed settings, this can function as an immersion and a standard blender. Since its base is silicone, you can stick the control grip into any stock pot or bowl without worrying about damage. It also includes a 42-ounce full-size blender jug, a chopping bowl, and a whisk attachment for making meringues, whipped cream, and other desserts. The control grip is fairly pricey for an immersion blender, though its extra functions justify its increased cost. It's a good all-in-one option, especially for someone with limited kitchen space. The other negative we found in testing is that it's very loud at high speed, 